All right, hello my friends. Today we are going to be going and speed running the StarCraft 1 Brood War Zerg campaign. This is because on Monday the 15th, 7th Ace is going to be speed running this campaign at the Games Done Quick Marathon, raising money to uh raising charity money to help fight cancer. And I am doing commentary for him and it would be inappropriate to have not at least finished this run and placed it. So, I'm doing my best. I did a little bit of studying yesterday. My initial plan was that I would have spent a decent amount of time in December actually learning this run, practicing it, and then playing it. However, I was very sick. So uh, I did practice yesterday, and that is it. <laughs> so we are going to... We're going to give it a go in Vile Disruption. Uh, I'll try to explain everything as we go. Greetings, Hi. Go, go, go. Okay, we grab the Zerglings, we grab these guys, we send these up, these over, grab this little base, Hydralis go attack over there, Zerglings pop on up, get a bunch of friends, attack over here, we're gonna get all of our Zergling buddies, and then we're gonna go this way, we gotta defend against the attacks over there, we did that. Zerglings go this way, Hi our Hunter Killers go to the top right to defend this hive. We're going to come down here, get this third hive, and then we're going to get a bunch of little deuterinos. Scourge. Do we need for the next bit? Oh, bad, bad pathing right there. That's unfortunate. We did get the Scourge very quick. That is nice, which means that we can send them right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. Some Zerglings through. Okay, the Guardians are dead, feeling good about that. Everything, the first three hives are looking pretty safe. We have to capture all seven without a single hive dying. We're gonna grab this one and a uh, Vominos. Now, normally you wanna split right here, your forces, but I'm just going to do this for a little bit of safety. We have two lings left. We're gonna have to go through Ultralis Cavern and slip right through there so the Ultra can't catch us. That's good. Now we gotta get this hive over here. And teleport on through. Do not lose our final Zergling as we get to Hive number whatever this is. Good, good, good. Now we get our guys. There's a big trigger box that is the size of this island. We just have to make sure there's no enemies on the island at all. Target down that Ultra and then come up here. Make sure this guy is being dealt with. And then attack up, attack up, attack up. Just a couple more guys to deal with on this side. And then try to block these guys because the trigger box doesn't actually extend to the top here. Uh, we should have it. There we go. That is mission number one. Alright. So we gotta destroy the Psy Disruptor next. Uh, we have a unskippable cutscene here. Oh no, Ace is in the chat. <laughs> I was hoping he was traveling at this point so he didn't have to see this. Oh no. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> it's gonna be so embarrassing. Alright, so this is a pre-done cutscene. Uh, the ghosts are gonna do their thing. Jim is gonna shoot. Come on, Jim, you can do it. Yeah. Sometimes Jim just chills back here. Then it takes longer. But we didn't have that happen today. Boom, boom, boom. In transit, HQ. Garrigan, the generator's offline. Alright. Now we're going to get our little friend. Thank you, Mix. With the disruptor's power cut, the emitter should be able to get the attention of any renegade Zerg near it. The SCV will come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Zerg back to your base. Once the Zerg arrive there, just drop him. I know that I can do dialogue skips, but honestly, I never practice them. Okay, you guys here. You guys here. Go, go, go. So we're going to go forward. We're going to grab the Hunter Killers. Target down the Space Marines. Hunter Killers in the Fronter Killer. And we're going to grab the uh, Elite guys over here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, these hockeys are bad. I should not have the army on one and three and the SCV on two. 
This is not how you want to do this, but, you know, don't optical flare me, bro. Whatever dies, dies. I don't care. There we go. Now we don't have enough units to have three hockeys. It's perfect. Genius. All right, that guy goes over here. Grab these and these. You guys on hockey together. Now what we're going to do is use one of these guys as fodder. So the siege tank will shoot these zer- Whoa, 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 buddy. The siege tank is going to shoot this zergling, which is going to allow the SCV to get over here and grab the Tarosk. We're going to send the SCV to die so he doesn't get in the way. Everything head up here, and then we're going to put a save once we have our guys on the ramp. And this attack is real spooky. I don't have that many. Oh, no. Are you serious, StarCraft Pathing? Why you got to be that way? Oh, this isn't looking great. I don't have a whole lot of units here. I hope I don't have to reset the mission, but I will. We will see. Uh, we want to get the Tarosk in the front. Save. Uh, Sure. A wow. Why not? Target that. Target that. Shift Q him up. Tank goes down. Oh, gosh. Trosk in the front, please. Trosk in the... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> the fire bat block. Uh, I gotta let the Trosk go in the front. The series... There we go. Okay, now everybody goes this way. The Hydras are stuck way in the back. That is super bad. I think that's not going to work out because the Hunter Killers just got there so late. Oh gosh, they're having real big pathing issues. Nope, it's not even close. Theoretically, that would burn down, but it's not worth it. That was uh, unfortunate that the Hunter Killers got so stuck. What? Okay, we at least have the Hunter Killers moving with us this time. Target this objective. Third tries the charm. Oh, I'm not feeling it with this. It's looking real bad. Ah, maybe. Maybe. Hey! Easy. Yeah, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't beautiful. Not happy, but it it worked. That's all that matters. You to infest as many Terran command centers as possible. Yeah, I'm sure you do, Kerrigan. So we got this first base that we have to take out. We're gonna use these. Oh, that's not good. This is what it is. All right, Ultras take these guys down. Drone comes over and we grab the first base. We gotta mine 10,000 minerals on this mission. It's very exciting. You go up here, you go up here. I lost a lot of Zerglings there, which is bad. To Phoenix! <laughs> up the ramp, buddy. I know you're a Dragoon, but come on. Uh, I don't remember if there's stuff that we have to kill up here. Is there a bunker? No, there's not. The bunker's, like, down here. All right, we got this base here. We're going to have these guys mine minerals. We are going to grab the hydras and bring them this way. Phoenix is going to take that down without any losses. It's going to be very easy for him. All these are going to mine their money. We're going to take down the rest of these buildings. And these... Oh, gosh. Hello. Uh, ultras come this way. Zerglings pull back. Don't lose the legs. i to use the queen to come up over here, and we're going to just hold position these on top of the ramp. Just to make sure that things are nice and safe. Oh. Alright. Oh, I forgot to get those guys right up. 
against the thing. Of crystals to maintain we get 10,000 units of crystals. Don't come back with anything less. Which is over 9,000. Let's send the queen forward. And we're going to start our macroing. No, fire the parasite! Hey, she did it at the very last second she man. No, she didn't! Wait, I thought it took the energy. I thought I saw the energy go away. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's, uh... <laughs> that's uh, very sad. Oh, no. Well, I'm not going to have vision of the attacks that are coming from this side, then. I mean, it's inconsistent anyway. But... Even less information than normal. Oh, do we have to take this down? I think we do. Otherwise, I'm going to lose an overlord at some point to it, and that would be very embarrassing. So we're splitting up our forces in a way to hopefully not have to... Not have to uh, do big troop movements. However, Phoenix may have to run around and help defend things at various places. Uh, over here, the big issue is that if a tank siege ups in range, it can be very, very difficult to deal with. One thing that's very nice is I have a decent bit of HP on my Ultralisks still, so I feel happy there. And uh, it's really going to be a game of trying to make sure that I don't lose the Ultras or Phoenix. The Zerglings are okay to die. This area is generally pretty safe with Hydras on top of the ramp. And we just want to build up to uh, whatever the number over 50 is in terms of workers. Uh, you go to 50 and then you get one more overlord. <laughs> I think it's like 58. And that that's going to be the worker saturation. And then we're just going to mine, mine, mine. And catapult our supply up. I'm going to... Maybe I don't need to set the rally over there. Okay, we got one, two, three. Perfect. This mission is super exciting. It's by far and away the best in StarCraft. Like, not even the speedrun, just, you know. This is like zero hour if you wanted to be even more excited about video gaming. Okay. Let's, uh, get that hatchery finished so I can spend my money. I think I started my third hatchery a little bit later than I would have wanted to, so I'm banking up a little bit of cash. But we don't want to get to that 2,000 mark. Oh, I guess it's 51 plus 1. Er, plus 1 overlord. Okay, you here. I think we want an overlord on this area so that we can see the blue base. But we gotta be careful because I think there's a missile turret right here that can ruin your day. Okay, nice little attack has been dealt with. Love to see it. So one of the things I always have an issue with in StarCraft is I'm not sure if I'm building an Overlord or not. Right. You're going to go up here. You're going to keep producing. You go here. Uh, I guess you're going to build an Overlord. Drones, drone. Ah. Good tank shot from the opponent right there. That's a lot of damage on the Ultras. Fortunately, the tank was split up from the main attack force. So I'm not too... Are they going after the drone? All right. I don't like it, but it's also not the end of the world. I thought I built an overlord there. I did build an overlord there. Goodbye. We're going to send a couple of these guys to the north, and then we're going to check this. Uh, maybe this one over here. Just kind of make sure that the bases are as balanced as we can get them. And then a couple more drones up here, and we should be good to start building up that cache. The enemy's going to attack. So, yep. Oh, uh, you guys need to help. It's fine. I got to 2,000 faster than I thought I would. Usually I want to have Phoenix up there to help, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. It's just... Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. Uh, tank attack at the same time is not super fortunate. Oh, 
gosh. No, no, no. Get on top of the tank. Go over to the tank. Please. Duh, ah. Okay, unseize that. Bring these guys back to mine. You come over here. Split the workers up. Our forces are under attack. Well, we don't need him. These tanks took so much damage. Or these uh, ultras took so much damage from the tank. It's a little spooky. I'm going to send the zerglings down to help here. And then Phoenix is going to go here. I'm going to save just in case. Stay on the high ground. I think what I'm going to do is pull one of the hydras to help over here. Just make sure things stay okay. And we're just going to be supply blocked. It's not worth rebuilding the Overlord. So now we're just mining and uh, mining our own business. One guy there, one guy here. Uh, you guys need to split up. We're <laughs> StarCraft 1 mining at its finest. How many guys? Are, there's like seven guys on one mineral patch. Oh, game. Why do you do this? So these guys are the get hit by a siege tank shot first. Ultras hopefully spread so they don't get blasted. Kind of don't want those hydras hot keyed actually. So the next big attack is going to be coming at the 6,000 mineral mark. That's when it gets sent. And it can be a little bit kooky. Uh, and it shows up at random times, just like every other attack in this game. Like, it gets sent, but then it's StarCraft 1, so it takes a long time for the enemy to figure out where they're going and how they're getting there and all that kind of stuff. But it'll be it'll be a nice little thing. A little party. I think it's often... Is it Wraiths from White? So maybe we want to send Phoenix down? Oh, I'm like... Oh my gosh, Wraiths from White. I never expected this. Alright. So Phoenix goes this way. Yeah, the Ultras can tank the raids for a bit. I'm happy with that. Phoenix is going to annihilate this. And then the next big attack comes at uh, 8,000 minutes. Oh, here we go. Good, good. And Goliath did nothing. Comes a little bit of a brown attack. Uh-oh. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no. I don't like that one bit, Jimmy. Uh, that tank was in a good place. I didn't know he was going to have his friends. Is As I said, it's just really inconsistent. He's not sieging. Siege! Oh, oh no. This might be over. Oh, jeez. Another tank? Whoa. That's a really big attack. Uh, we're going to have to keep Phoenix alive. We're going to have to mine the most that we can. Uh, I think that usually the red tries to attack up here. And they didn't do that today. <gasps> 800 more minerals. It is what it is. So they're targeting some of the drones over here. This big attack is coming south. Phoenix is hiding in the corner with 2 HP. This is mining. 400 more minerals. They're targeting down all the workers. It's not ideal. I'm going to say that this is not exactly how you want it to go. Losing the ultras really hurt. It all kind of came back to that initial siege tank that did so much damage to those ultras. But this base is okay, which means we're going to be okay. Uh, yeah, the, I don't think anything actually came up this ramp. These are just the wraith kills and the initial stuff. Uh, yeah, usually the red base is over here. They usually try to poke up here. Blue never even attacked us. I'm not sure what's going on with that. They usually send a thing. What an odd way for this mission to play out, but that's StarCraft 1 in a nutshell. Easy. All right, now we have money. Let's build our extractor, our hatchery, 
get you guys over here. Uh, just remember to build those sunks because we do get ultra attacked real quick. You guys need to go up. Hatchery. Hatchery and hatchery. Unfortunately, Zerg macro is not a thing I'm fast at, so that's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a downer. Is that the rallies? And then we go up here. So we have these 10,000 minerals to work with. Get the layer. Forgot about that. Get Zergling speed. We need three guys on gas ASAP. And then the Ultra's doing its thing. Don't really mind. And we'll just have to try our best here. Grab these guys and target down this bunker. Just keep saturating, and we gotta get two things over here. Yep, we're not being attacked on this side, that's good. Means we can build our Evo Chamber, our Evo Chamber, our Hydra Den. And then we're gonna sneak over. Oh! Sneak over on this side. Ah, uh, the Ultra is taking the heat. I don't like that. I was hoping that the other Ultra that I was sending in first was going to be the one that got attacked. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. So we did lose an Ultra there. And a Hydra. That's not good. Move, please. But we are going to hold this area. You guys go mine. You go attack and armor and that upgrade and queen's nest. Drones, drones, and overlords. Then we grab the hatchery over here. This is a little bit late. <laughs> this ultra is also so damn. I took so much damage during this attack that I wouldn't want to. Uh, the bunker here was attacking while I was going over there, too. I just... The positioning was not something I did too well, and that's pretty common for me in StarCraft 1, is I'm just not good at the fine movement of units, and that is, that means that I am the same as 99.9% .9 of humans on Earth, because <laughs> there's only like 17 people that are actually good at making these units move the way that they want them to. Alright, so when the Queen's Nest finishes, we get our Hive. We don't need any Queen upgrades, we just need to make sure we get Adrenal. Now we're going to send these guys to the... Oh, hello. Thank you, Sunk. These guys go up here. Grab the gas geyser. All this kind of stuff. Must explore there first. The Lord's go over here for now. Up, up, up. And I think one more group of drones, and then it's going to be all unit production. Hydra upgrades. I think I have too many drones, but last time that I did this, I didn't have enough drones, so, you know, gotta be somewhere in between. Not doing this a third time for that in between to happen, but it is what it is. One, two, three. You guys here, you guys here. Start. Oh, I just built Hydras instead of Zerglings. That was wrong. I don't have the gas to be doing that. Gotta save my gas for upgrades. And then, you know what? I'm building the safety sunks right here. It's just a little bit of money to make sure that nothing goes terribly wrong. And then I'm actually going to get a safety sunk here as well. Because sometimes... Oh, I was a little bit at the wrong time. Well, that's our voice. That wasn't the big attack with, like, lurkers and stuff, so we're fine. Okay, the hive is done. We want to get uh, overlord movement. We want to get that upgrade. And we're going to want to get our 1-1. One, one, get the sunk. Maybe I do need a couple more workers over here. Sunks are going to keep me safe. I'm going to build lots and lots of zerglings. And I'm going to start hotkeying all my guys. And we got to build... Uh, Overlords. Two, three. Oh. Oh, we dealt with the lurker. Okay. You control group one. You control group two. You control group three. You control group four. Zergling. 
Zergling. And I have every upgrade that I need under construction now, which is great. I just need to... Or, that means that I can start building Hydras. I do need to get this Nidus, otherwise I'm going to forget later. Uh, hi! Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Those Zerglings aren't going to live very long. Alright, are we ready to go? No, we're not, because we don't have Zergling speed and we don't have Hydras. I need a good number of Hydras before we can actually push out. Oh, they are being rude today. Leave Overlord alone. Uh, Overlords are fast. That's good. Whoa, I guess we're going. Okay, well, I sent what hotkeys I could. Uh, the Hydras need to go, go, and go. Do their best. And we're not really going to be able to watch the fight because I am bad at Zerg unit control. And that's uh, a sad fact, which means I'm not going to be able to snipe the things that I want to. You guys all go this way. Hopefully I don't lose too many... Oh rewards during all of this. Everyone but the Ultra is going. Cool. Wouldn't want to have an Ultra attack. Ooh, uh, I need Overlords. That's not good. It's almost as if all my over... Well, I overbuilt them now. Pushing through here. That's going well. Send a couple of these guys down. Make sure that we have detection down here. I know there's some lurkers on that side. Take down the infrastructure. Keep going, keep going. Overlords are getting annihilated. Which is not what you want to see, but it is what you're gonna see. Hydras as we can, Hydras as we can. Zergles and Zergles. A little bit extra in the Overlord front, but being extra is not that bad. And going to reconvene all my stuff here, make sure we have overlords following the hydras specifically. Uh, now that we have the opportunity, I don't want them following the zerglings, obviously, because hydras following overlords is... or overlords following hydras has a little bit higher chance of living. And then we're going to set our nidus right there. And we got to set all of our rallies into the nidus now, which is something I'm very slow at doing. It's one of those things you gotta do, or you gotta practice, and I put that Nidus way too low to do that effectively as well. But that's fine. It went okay. Uh, Nidus isn't done. Hydras, Hydras. I One thing that I noticed is that I tend to default to making way too many Zerglings. Like, whenever I'm in panic mode, I'm in Zergling mode. And I'm trying to replace that with Hydra mode, because I think Hydras are just a little bit more consistent. Even if they don't have, like, the explosive power potential, they have that, like, mediocrity that I want to be known for in life. But they're, like, reliably mediocre instead of really explosive. Okay, so we're getting all of our... Groups together. What? Nobody told you guys to go over there yet. Okay, everybody go. Big old Zerg base. Shouldn't be too bad. We have a lot of stuff this time. A lot of overlords on follow mode. Hopefully it goes well. I have no idea how... Oh, there's an attack wave coming up from over here. All right. Well, whatever. That Guardian's going down. Let's just make sure that we're macroing and macroing. You guys in here, and then we're going to move up and try to snipe these Guardians. Ooh, good pullback. They're actually trying their best there. I like that. Okay. Grab you and you. Spend until we're out of Vespine, and then lots of Hydras. L-O-H. It's like LOL, but it's not funny, and it's Hydralisks. Oh, you finally figured out how to get over here, Ultra. Good job. 
Feeling really nice on the unit count right now. I think we ended this fight with more than we began. Uh, you guys want to go through the Nidus, through the Nidus, and then we're going to prepare for this next base, which is a super spooky one. Start sending everyone down. Hopefully they don't all die, which they will. Uh, we're stuck attacking Larva. That's good. Mm, good. I uh, love to see the Dematrix uh, tanks on the high ground. That's always an easy thing to deal with. Okay, it did go down. We're losing a lot of supply here. We're going to start reinforcing. No, no, no. Hydras. I said that I always go for the Zergling, and I don't want to do that. Because the Hydra, it's just consistent. 11 kills on that Ultra. He's doing great. And by that, I mean he can't figure out how to actually get into the fight. You guys help. You guys help. Trying our best here. Send some of these overlords over. And it actually looks like we are cleaning this base up moderately. Now, this is the point where the Hydras are worse. They don't have the building cleanup capability that the Zerglings do. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> because they lived. And I don't have the fine control to have caused that to happen normally. I would have been at like 120 supply of Zerglings right here. Maybe even have lost my entire army. These guys on this side. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to use this Zergling wave to attack this base down here. And all the reinforcements at that point are going down to the bottom center because there is a little outpost there that needs to be taken out. That's why it's called an outpost. There shouldn't be that much over here, but there might be a couple workers. I don't think so, though. Yeah, everything already got pulled, so let's just try to take down these sunks. Yeah, you guys want to help out over here. Or Zerglings down, and then there's a couple buildings over here that need to be taken out. This felt okay. I mean, I'm not, like, super proud of it, but it's better than, uh... It's better than it could have been. I definitely could have done a 12-minute, though, I think. With a little bit more practice, if I had initially wanted to spend December getting like five or six good attempts on every single mission, but I just, because I was really sick, I did not have the opportunity to do that, unfortunately. So this is like my third try. And I'm just missing little things constantly. All right, so we got that, we got that. What is left? Is that it? Excellent there we go. The UED's defenses are broken. Okay, the going to true colors next. Let's take a drink, friends. make sure we stay hydrated. Don't be snide, Kerrigan. This was part of the deal, remember? I've earned this. Okay. I am Emperor of the Dominion again. I'll be sending General Duke to establish my Oh, General Duke, he's my favorite. August. I hope you make the most of your reign. Come on, let's go. Going to true colors. Okay, this is a little quick cutscene. And then we're going to be doing the sneak attack. So the way that uh, you want to do the sneak attack, if you have this whole mission routed out, is you want to snipe every single factory so that they can't research siege mode. However, you have to have, like, a really good understanding of the mission in order to do that and where everything is and have the right positioning so you don't end up running into detection and all that kind of stuff. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to kill the Terran as best as we can, their first two main bases, because that's the, like, safe way to do it if you don't know where all the machine shops are. Because I absolutely will miss one, and then everything I will have done was for naught. It is really cool, though. Take down this. Uh, lurkers are going to head down here and start blasting. I feel like I'm supposed to have another lurker, and I'm not sure where it is. But that's okay. 
As long as we don't lose too much on this side. We're gonna grab this base. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come over and hang out with your boat, froze. Our forces are under attack. You guys up here, grab the gas geyser, send you on over to grab this base, and then everybody targets this down. Remember that production structures are the most important, so this base is already looking pretty cleared out. I just want to make sure I can actually build my base here. Cool, cool. These, hey, Blurker, what are you doing? Go after that. Build our hatcher here. Leave that to burn. And let's just keep going. For a lurker. Just tack down there. Keep saturating. One, two, three. One, two, three. You guys here. We got to get a Evo chamber and an Evo chamber. That might be really early for the Evo chambers, actually. Not sure that I agree with that now that I've done it. I like 1 1 upgrades, but that doesn't mean that you gotta rush them instantly when you don't have gas to pay for them. Keep mining. Okay, lurkers are clearing all that out. We have 2 minutes and 34 seconds remaining. I'm gonna have to remember to get my sunks over here for the counter attack. Because the Protoss does get really angry. You're supposed to be on gas, I think. Oh, these hatcheries take forever. I'm just going to move these up to the bridge to make sure that I am safe. I feel like I just cannot find this final lurker no matter where he goes. Where is he? <laughs> what has happened to him? All right. He may have died. He was the least functional lurker of all time. Alright. Uh, you guys are gonna be creep colonies. Creep colony, creep colony, bum bum bum. And two, you guys here. Get the overlords going. Oh, I am broke. Well, that's good. I am, sorry, I'm macroing well. <laughs> that's how it works. I take these down. Do I have overlords under production? I do. Good. So you guys can come over here. We want to build a creep, creep, sunk, sunk, creep, creep. Why? What is this war? No, we don't choose violence. We choose friendship. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. SCVs are so broken in StarCraft 1. They have like 6 billion HP. How could this have happened? Well, that's unfortunate. Sunk Spore. I'm not even kidding. I think they have 60, right? Yeah, 60 HP. It's so much more than me. We gotta target down that. But we're finishing everything else off over here. Getting those upgrades, get the layer. I don't know why I click that instead of hitting the upgrade. I feel like whenever I'm in uh, panic mode in StarCraft 1, I just revert to clicking on things instead of hitting the hotkeys. Even though it's like the same hotkey I've hit 7 billion times. Whoa! <laughs> they did not pull their guys out of that bunker. <laughs> they usually pull people out of all their bunkers. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to have to... Lurkify this man. You're sending a lot across this bridge, huh? That's why you need three lurkers. The hive cluster is under attack. We can deal with that. And then we want to build our extra hatcheries. 
And once again, I don't think they attacked over here, which is a shame because I definitely defended it well. Uh, Lurker Burrow. Oh, Lurker Morph. Got him. He's going to be extra protected today. We had to save him somehow. Here, you two go to war against the SCV. Make sure he doesn't do something All weird. Starcraft won, so he's probably thinking something weird. One, two, three. Eh, that's actually just well saturated enough. And then we go rally, 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 rally. Hydra. Uh, Hydra upgrades. No Vespine gas. Do I have enough guys on this gas geyser? I think I do. I think I'm just very gas poor. All right. That's a missile turret. <laughs> Today I learned. The Hydras are pretty cheap once we actually start producing them, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. We just have to get there. I think I want one more hatchery. Because I don't really want to produce out of this one, honestly. It's uh, a lot of screen real estate to move over there. What? You could totally build there, dude. <laughs> what was the issue? <laughs> there was no obstruction. Oh, he just didn't want to. I get it. It's a tough one. Okay, take down these buildings, and we have to take down these. Hydras go, Hydras go. Lurker come over here to protect. They are just sending the one of everything build to, <laughs> across this bridge. The entire Terran Dominion is going to be sent against this bridge eventually. And you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Now, for this next area, what I want to do is get, like, five control groups of Hydras before I start attacking. Just so I can have that critical mass and start really, really bulldozing. And, uh, as I said, Hydra production, once it starts, it goes fast. Is this enough? Uh, maybe I need one more guy, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Oversaturated on minerals anyway. This Hydra's doing so much work. Clean all that up. Keep all this going. We have 2-2 two, two on the way. I think I'm just gonna wait for my plus 2 ranged attack to finish, and... I might go for plus three. Usually you wouldn't because you don't quite have enough time to make full value out of it. But I'm going safe and steady. And I think that plus three will be, particularly because we didn't take out the machine shops, I think that plus three is going to be helpful for busting into the Terran base. I might not get plus three carapace. I might just get plus three attack now that I'm thinking about it. I just, I feel like I have negative gas all the time. <laughs> How am I going to afford it? Hydras, Hydras, Hydras. You're not supposed to build Zerglings here. No matter how much I want to. Okay, where's that plus two? Or plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I think it'd be too expensive at this point to build the hive, the queen's nest, all that kind of stuff. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that's an awkward angle. Why don't we flood it with Hydras? How did how did two Marines get over there? Honestly, impressive for them. Oh, a couple guys up there that are being not great friends to the Zerg Empire. Take all this down. Don't get flanked. Okay, your control group five. Our forces are under attack. More tanks? I mean, I legitimately think we're actually going to be potentially okay because the enemy is not going to have that many tanks remaining. They are just sending them a million at a time into the gauntlet, and it's not going well for them. 
Okay, we got a lot of Hydras over here. I'm doing well. Gotta get that Queen's Nest at some point. You know what? I'm just gonna take this base for the for the gas geyser. It'll pro it's probably too little, too late, but it'll make me feel better about myself. Minerals are driving me crazy. All right, all these guys are going down to the Protoss base. That's being cleaned up. Good, good, good. You guys are all being controlled down to the Protoss base. All forces are under attack. Go, go, go. We require more Vespine gas. I just built three overlords when I'm at 191. That's fine. I'll probably lose one somehow. Oh, no, don't want to send those up there. Queen's Nest. Evo Chamber begin. This is going to help with my over-droning, too. Because they are not all efficiently mining minerals. Just taking a couple off. Wow! Zell just walked up and murdered a dude. What a legend. Starcraft 1 Zelts are seriously cool sometimes. They just do that. They feel so much more menacing than Starcraft 2 Zealots. Like, charge is cool, but being able to destroy a million Hydralisks is cooler. One, two, three drones coming on down. Uh, Reaver, A, they're targeting it anyway. That's good. I got lucky there, where they just started targeting the Reaver without my input. It's just an observer, okay. Drones here. Hive Goo, Hive Drillisks. I think I'm sending too many Hydras into this base. I've kind of already cleared it. But I just, uh, there's no kill like overkill, right? And then we can just focus on the Terran base altogether instead of doing multi prong stuff. It's a larva. Good, good, good. Fortunately, when you're aim moving, you kill all the interceptors accidentally. Oh, do not attack, move on to the minerals. And Overlord should be done. Oh, we gotta get Overlord drops too, jeez. There's so many things you gotta get in this. Because we have to kill that one missile turret. Of doom. So we're gonna reconvene our forces, get everything re keyed together, and ready to go. Why am I getting a hive? I have no need for this hive. I just wasted money. <laughs> well, whatever. Transporting for overlords, here we go. Hydras, hydras, hydras. Control group, control group. Get everything managed. Just clear out over here. So we do have to destroy every building on this map. Which is a lot of buildings. Let's start using these guys to bust this area. I think that's the most useful adaptation of their skills. And I built a queen. I got spawn broodlings. I have no idea where I put the queen. I'm going to be completely honest here. Okay, they're still trying to attack up that. Good. I uh, don't know how that fight's going to... Oh, here she is. Oh, she doesn't have enough energy. Well, it'll happen when it happens. Hydras go, Hydras go. Oh, they're going to become the single file line going into this base, which is not going to be pretty. Because that bridge is a pretty awkward angle. Every bridge is a pretty awkward angle. Oh, gosh, that's why I didn't want to take this base, because there's a wraith. Uh, I mean, I can build some Hydras, it's fine. It's kind of the answer to everything on this mission is Hydras, Hydras, Hydras. 
You guys attack in the top. You guys attack in the top. Couple of these bad boys. There we go. Just see if we can breach through without sending our guys too deep in. And it looks like the Terran actually have gotten rid of a lot of their own forces here. They just attacked with so much stuff that their southern defenses, at least, are kind of gone. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, it felt like they were being really aggressive against the bridge, and the bridge is eternal. It's just unkillable. Okay. So now we have an unskippable dialogue, unless I do the uh, save load thing, which I didn't do. Because what I want to do is spend this time trying to figure out exactly what I need to do. There's a bunker in the top left. I got drop, which I need to do on the island. You can see top center, there is one missile turret on an island that needs to be destroyed. Then I think... I'm pretty sure I left a Hydra squad around here so that I could clean up these buildings after Phoenix is taken out. So I'll be able to do that. And the rest of that is just dealing with the Terran base. Okay. Sorry, Phoenix. You gotta do it, because Phoenix is really strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta go through this one as well. Well, it's time to... Time to take a drink. He died because you betrayed him. So how is the, it's going to be like 54 minutes when we finish this mission because of all the dialogue that we're going to be going through. Fury of the Swarm is next. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're doing okay time. I'm not sure. Okay. One more paragraph. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an I learned uh, from Ektar, who is the other one doing commentary in this run, that you apparently can't alt F4 out of this, which I find very funny. No matter how mad you are, you have to sit here and listen to uh, the dialogue. It is unskippable. Okay, Hydras go in. You Hydras go up. You Hydras go south. Okay, that's been taken care of. There's General Duck. Okay. And then, once again, I have to remember to do that drop because we have slow overlords. And it's going to take a little bit, so... I'll do it right now. Uh, we don't really have a lot to fight Duke right now. These guys are pushing up from the south and they'll be able to do it, but... You do need, like, a control group of Hydras to fight him. He is the general, after all. He's not specific Duke, he's General Duke. Our forces are under attack. Okay, you guys that dealt with the Wraith can actually attack up here. That is beautiful. Love to see it. Everybody here is attacking up. Uh, this whole area has been dealt with, so you guys are just going to head to the north and... Send Hydras by the Trillions into Duke himself. You guys should be able to clean up this, no problem. Yep, yep, yep. And I think that is all the stuff on this side. We got this guy over here. Put a couple Hydras in, and then unload. I think the slowest part is going to be the Hydra drop, unfortunately. I don't know why Duke isn't fighting over here. He kind of got bored. This is not a great time. I could have done a lot better. Okay. Oh, he said a bad word, guys. Can you believe it? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsalus. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Yeah, we're gonna have to cancel Mengsk. But you said revenge was secondary to defeating Secondary to defeating the UED. I liberated this planet because oh, man. The UED There's so much dialogue on this mission. Not because I was under any but it makes me it gives me time to relax halfway through the run, I'm gonna be completely honest. I know it's a time loss, but it's also like 
Mental decompression, because if you're not used to playing StarCraft 1, it is such a mental overload that, uh, <laughs> I just, uh, it gives you, it like, you can feel the, uh, cerebrospinal fluid leaving your brain. It was like, or maybe it's entering your brain because your brain gets really tense and then, this is not how neurology works at all, but I like to believe. Alright, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. And target this, and I think this is the last building on the map. Oh! Oh! Pylons! Send the drones! We gotta kill it! Zerglings! Ah! How could I? Get them! Help us, drones! Is that it? No. What's left? Oh my goodness, where? Where? Oh, no, 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 no. Is it over here? What could it be? I dealt with the stuff over here. I dealt with the missile turret that hides. I, uh... Did the stuff over here. Let's hit that button. Oh my gosh, a depot! Oh no! Go, 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 go. Well, that's like a minute of time lost. <laughs> oh, StarCraft 1. It is done, Sarah. That is, <laughs> that is devastating. <laughs> this is the saddest thing that's happened in my life. Okay. Fury of the Swarm. This is going to be one that probably takes multiple attempts to get right. Because the beginning is insane. And it's a huge, it's like a seven minute time save, so you kind of have to do it. Nope. Well, you know what? It worked. It worked. I got it. I got it. Actually, I'm just going to save right now. Save a, wow, that's a uh, first try. First try is insane. It's ridiculously, insanely good. Uh, I just got really, really lucky. Okay. What? No. Well. Ah, they're glitching through. No, I hate this game. I had it and they glitch through. Oof. Well. Sometimes StarCraft 1. No, I just wasn't fast enough this time. All the Zerglings are going to get through. And the Zerglings probably beat this. I mean, no. Did they glitch through again? How do you stop them from glitching through? Our forces are under attack. Because they, uh, I, they have the ability to, like, enter the hitbox of your unit sometimes. And if they do, then they'll push your unit's hitbox away and then they can move through. Oh, gosh. I don't like this trick, but you have to do it because it's so much faster. Even if you reset like 20 times in order to do it, it's still a time save. Which is not my kind of trick, but it is what it is. There we go, I think. I'm just going to try to get this last guy right here. Okay, I think that they're stuck far enough away that time that they're not going to get through. Well... Yeah, see, they're not uh, able to enter this time because they're all on move command. They're not going to be able to do anything. You guys come up here. Let's throw down a real save this time because it actually worked and they're not glitching through. So you need to be far enough away. And by far enough away, I mean you need to rely on the bad pathing so that it actually works. We want to get our melee attack upgrade. And we just want to build drones and drones and drones off of these three bases. The enemy's on move command. We got to pay attention to the, was it three minute mark? Or two minute mark. Two minute mark is the time that the enemies go away. And then we have to be really careful. Otherwise we die. 
But besides that, we're doing really nicely. We just saturate all three of these bases. Uh, move these guys over here. Oh, there's an Overlord over there that I didn't move. Uh, not losing him would have been really nice. However, it is what it is, and beggars can't be choosers. And I am a beggar. Just keep saturating. So we're going to load up uh, about 30 overlords worth of zerglings. That is the goal here. And they are going to be very, very strong. Just like you. 146. We're going to try not to lose too much to these, uh, to these lurkers. So what happens now is at the two minute mark, there's going to be a, oh no, we got to make sure the game doesn't break. So we're going to despawn the attack wave no matter what. And they're going to send this stuff this way, and we're going to try to target it down. That's fine. And then the final one that is running away is going to get got by this sunk right here. This is a lair. Good. And get our queen's nest. And just keep building up. This is a very good start. In fact, I'm going to save because this start is so... Hi, Drillisk. How are you doing, Drillisk? Fortunately, Zorglings are just very good. Got a little bit lucky there. Okay, we're going to have to build a hive ASAP. We're going to have that finishing. I want my upgrades to be a little bit symmetrical here. Just have them going at the same time. I feel like I need one extra guy on this. Memorizing how many guys have to be on each gas geyser is a really hard thing in StarCraft 1 as well. Oh, you're not you're in 10A. I don't want that upgrade. And this is a pretty good economy, so we're gonna go Carapace upgrade. Attack upgrade. Oh, we don't have enough gas. My queen. Oh, what a timing. There You guys right here. I'm going to build an extra hatchery. I know what they're here, you, here, you, here. And now we build lots and lots of zerglings. We get the hive so we can get uh, adrenal. Adrenal is very important. This is good saturation. This is fine saturation. This part's too far away. It's not going to be efficient mining. And that's solid saturation as well. So it's big Zergling production and then get overlords with drops and start filling everything up and preparing for war. It's what we're doing. Because this is Warcraft. I'm so happy we got this block, by the way. Like, it is... I, I know it took a bunch of tries, and obviously that's a time loss, but, like... It's something I feel like I could be there for 20 minutes for if it didn't go right. Okay, we want transporting first, because it takes a long time to set up all the transporting. So, having that while we research speed is good. Keep building these... Okay. Lots of overlords. We need so much larva. And then the next gas is going towards adrenal. There we go. And then the gas after that is going towards overlord movement speed. And keep bringing all these overlords over here. Make sure... We need a system to manage which overlords are full and which ones are not because it's very very tough to do because we don't have a good visual indicator so i'm going to put overlords over here try to fill them up and then put the full ones over here that's the best i can do we'll do the same thing on this side it's a little bit easier once we have uh overlord movement speed because then we can actually move them around quickly but we're not there. Hello. Burrowed Hydralisk, how are you? <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> so uh, one of the things about this strategy where you don't let the Zerg kill these two bases is the orange AI gets very confused and they just do weird stuff constantly. And uh, you just got to live with it. I'll make you into a spore. I don't trust the universe. Okay, fill you up. Fill you up. And you. And you. And we need a lot more overlords at this point. Let's see, we got those. Uh, I'm going to start plus three attack. I don't know if we'll finish it in time, but I have the excess gas anyway. And I'm not really fast at getting all these overlords filled and stuff, so... Okay, how are you? You're full. You're full. You're not. Doing good. Doing good. Close enough. It's just lots of Zerglings. I think this might be the fastest way to fill is the scoop and check method where you just keep putting guys in and then you check later. At least when you are not coordinated, it might be the fastest way to do it. This guy's over here. Oh. You must be full, sir. Do you want a dessert after your dinner of Zerglings? Hi. Do I have any other Hydras? No. It's not good. I did get a spore out of fear. Oh, that's not good. Um. Okay. Wait. Yes! <laughs> no! Wait! Why do my guardians always run into photon cannons, but the AI is really good? Uh, let's try to do the push strat from Deathless. Where you use a bunch of overlords to hold position to slowly push them into your spore. There we go. Got it. That's full pro gamer knowledge right there. I think we're getting close to being able to go. Let's just fill these up and give it a shot. I'm definitely going overkill here because this attack is terrifying. It's one of the more technically complex ones. Unless you overkill it, then maybe it's really simple. It's kind of my logic. Right, you guys are looking good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Save. I actually might not have enough. I don't even know. It feels like not enough. Doesn't even have plus three attack. So what we want to do is we want to drop selecting these buildings because drops in StarCraft 1 are awful. But for some reason they work a little bit better if you target a large building to drop your stuff on. So, good luck. And then we want to find the guys that are being targeted and try to unload. Except it's on the U button, and the U button's really far away, so I can't find it. So now we have to kill these scientists. Oh, hello, Mutus. Good to see you. So you guys go up. You guys go over. Try to take down that ultra. A little bit in stared is fine. Don't mind that. A lot of scientists are going north. Oh, did I see a lurker there? I did see a lurker there. That's scary. Don't like that one bit. You guys go this way. Ooh, Scourge, too. Where are the science? There is a science up here. <laughs> Game. What is happening? Why can't I box? That was weird. Um, I'm going to build more overlords just in case. And kind of feeling like this attack is failing. 
There's three scientists left, but where are they? There's one. Two. One. But where? Oh, he's not on that side. Is he in here? No. Must be over here somewhere. They can't run out of the base. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where is... Oh, we got him. We got him somewhere. I'll take it. The scientists are really hard to see. Like, really super hard to see. Okay, so we want you hockeyed, you hockeyed, you guys here, here, here. Zergling, zergling, you there, there, sunk down, down. This mission's insane, so I'm just going to try my best. Uh, the next two missions are, like, that attack is fairly insane and just chaotic, but these are the most two technical missions in terms of, like, just being really hard. I practiced this one, like, four or five times yesterday, and... I felt kind of okay by the end, but at the same time, I didn't feel... I forgot Zergling speed. Ah. That's really bad. I need to restart. You don't get Zergling speed right at the beginning. You're basically out of it. I get the sunk. You, you, boom, boom. You, you, go, go. Because Zergling Speed needs to finish right when you have done the first point, and I waited like a minute because I just completely forgot. Oh, Duran, no! <laughs> Go with your friends! <laughs> well, at least he's responsive when you tell him what he's doing wrong. I need you to go up here and lock down some Reavers. Okay, we're getting these guys. You're on control group three, be prepared. Uh, I want the Hydras back here. How can I be of service? And then we're gonna give this a save. Once we get up here and once we have Cloak on. That's the big thing, is don't save until Cloak is on. Yep, save. And then, this part is really hard. You gotta watch the observers. Oh, there's four observers that are patrolling up there, and you need to, uh, not get hit. Okay, that one's gonna leave. There we go. We can sneak in. We got slashed by the DT once, and that is completely okay. And then we're gonna eat both of these guys. Alright. And these Giga Chads coming on over here. Duran going this way. Zergling, Zergling. We're going to send these up and we're going to target down this cannon. Bit weird pathing there, but it worked out. Not sure why we saw that DT for a bit. <laughs> that was weird. We didn't have detection over there. He was just like, I'll show myself just this once. Okay, uh, that's good. I'm gonna save after every single point here because this mission is just, uh, it can catastrophically collapse. It is one of those ones that you can just die during. Ooh. Oh no, don't get slashed by the DT. That's the big thing. Alright. You up here. You over here, and then we gotta send these three Zerglings to be dinner. Target that down. And then pull back. Oh, nope. Well, we didn't really save any of them that time. Would have been nice to save some of them. I want to eat you. You got it. Right away. 
All right, then we grab hydras and lings and lings. How can I be of service? We're gonna have to eat one of these lings for a little bit more energy. I think just one though. Please don't mess things up. Consume. And then we save. How can I be of service? This bridge is a nightmare, as every bridge in StarCraft 1 is. So we charge down. These guys go this way. There's no DT on the bridge this time. That's good. That's good. They just do their thing. Duran comes up this way. We get all these Zerglings. We're going to send them up here, see if they can help. 64 energy. I actually kind of want to consume again, if possible. We'll see how many of these Lings actually survive the uh, Perilous Trial, though. I have a feeling it's not going to be that many. Ooh, the cannon actually took a long time to pop up, which is real helpful. Four through? Yeah, I'm going to eat one of them. There we go. We have enough energy, and then we're going to drop a save because this mission... You guys just tank. So we need to be out of here with 100 HP. Of course. That's not gonna happen. Oof. You got it. Right away. I mean, of course. there is a ghost of a chance. You got it. Uh, it's right. really, really, really I'll unlikely we're going to be able to survive this, but right we made away. it through, so I'm gonna give it a shot before I reload. I'll take care of it. And if it happens, you it happens. It. Of course. I'll take care of it. Decent positioning there. Got it. Nope. Didn't think so. How can I be of service? How can I be of service? Of course. Right away. Of course. Uh, why? Why I'll did you go up there? It. Charge is set. You got it. Right away. You got it. Just don't like the way that right Drawn moves sometimes. Uh, yeah, 115 is probably acceptable. I'm making a different save file this time. Right away. But, uh, we got lucky there. Right away. You got it. Right away. Of course. A miss twice. I think that the misses happen, guys, uh, when you're cloaked and you like move out of cloaking range. Say it, say it, say it! Pilot cluster set to overload. There we go. We got it. The last charge is set. Telematros will explode on your command. Very well. Yeah, I think it has to do something with like uh, being cloaked and leaving cloak range or something like that has a chance to miss kind of like high ground. I'm not entirely sure. Starcraft 1 is weird. Boom, 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 boom. We destroyed a city. Yay. All right. Drones, 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 ultras, blah, blah, blah. Devourers go into the abyss. We do not trust devourers in this land. All you guys come over here to defend. Require more minerals. And then DTs we want up here. Our forces are under attack. Goodbye, devourers. You garbage waste of supply. So we want to build up a lot of drones here. Then we want to take this expansion. Then we want to get our gas geysers. And then we're going to need a lot of gas because we're going to build a million billion DTs, a million billion ultras, and a defiler. Then we're going to kill the single building that exists on this mission. At least I've never killed any other buildings in a speedrun practice. I guess it's really objectifying him, isn't it? Which is very rude. He's a full-fledged person made of many, many cerebrates. Good thing Dark Templar, right? I mean, they're pretty good. Like, nice attack. You tried. 
so I'm holding up my larva, just waiting to build this uh, base right here. Direct. Boom, boom. Did they parasite one of these? No, thank goodness. <laughs> If it, I does wait, does anyone know? Like, just uh, Twitch chat, does anyone know if Parasite gives vision of the parasited unit? I assume it does, but if you put it on a cloaked thing, it would be very funny if it didn't. And you just got vision of the area, but you didn't have vision of the cloaked thing. <laughs> Honestly, that would be the superior way to do it. It would be so funny. Yeah, it looks like you do get vision. Good to know. So, uh, yeah, this is big macro time. We're going to... I think we get plus one attack because we can. And then we got to get the hive, which means we need to get a queen's nest. I think we get the queen's nest first. Because we got to get drops pretty early on this mission. You here, you here. And try not to cap my larva if at all possible. Because remember, there's no wasted larva as Zerg as long as you don't hit three on hatchery. And that's kind of how you min max your larva as uh, someone who doesn't have enough money to spend it. Okay, we gotta get this gas geyser really quick. And then try to overlord, and I guess we're gonna overlord this one as well. And it's hive time. More My favorite time of the week. Uh, don't know if we need the DTs here, but we'll send them anyway. They never hurt me. Oh, that's not a hive. I did overcap larva there a little bit because I was supply blocked. And then we're gonna send these over here for the rally just to get all this stuff. Drone go up into here and that's gonna be a lot of gas income. Now we just need to finish the saturation on this side. I'm gonna turn this into a sunk right now just because I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive about what the enemy's sending. And I'm going to grab another sunk right here, safety sunk. We want a layer. And plus one attack. We're getting very close to having a good economy, which means we can start building actual combat units instead of just droning. Then we won't even need that much larva because we're building ultralisks and dark templar. It turns out dark templar are actually fairly larva light. Nobody knew this, but we found it out recently. Yeah, it's looking good. So we can set this rally over here, here, and here. You guys don't need to go there. That's looking good. This is looking good. Uh, let's just build some overlords while we're waiting because hives do take all of human history to make and then we have to get drops. And a defiler mound. And an ultralist cavern. Sure takes a lot of infrastructure. And then Dark Templar are spelled with letter K. And we gotta build a lot of them really soon because we are kind of waiting on the drop. We gotta get Overlord Speed as well. Uh, we cannot transport them through the Nidus that we're gonna build. So we have to get them early and then we can get everything else later on. You did not become a defensive structure. If I get destroyed by that infested Terran attack, because you didn't do your job, mister. I'm gonna accept the fact that that's how it works in StarCraft 1 and be very sad. I don't know if that guy being parasited increases the attack, that, or increases the chance that they attack towards him, but I like to believe that it does. Yeah, they're sending the medic. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of Hydras. Oh, I got vision too. Pull these back. Don't want to lose them because they're so expensive. Yeah, Medic Hydra is actually a really good composition.
Because medics do like infinite healing in StarCraft 1. They're pretty impressive. Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Everything is building. That's perfect. Oh, I forgot my defiler. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Man, I have no gas. Constantly, constantly having gas issues throughout this run. And I know that that's part of, uh, you have to know how many mineral drones you're supposed to build. So you don't overdo it. Because so many of these builds are gas capped. But when you just, uh, don't, you know, I don't know the, oh, we gotta build 42 drones. Do not know that, will never know that. And as a result, it hurts sometimes. Okay, everyone get ready to come over here. Bring the Defiler. Everyone's going on a party over to the other side of the map. These guys are staying to defend. Sunk, sunk, sunk. And just try not to die. So we need Ultra Movement, and then we can start Ultras. We can... Build our Nidus, get these overlords coming over as well, and we're kind of getting ready to the staging point of the attack, but it's still going to be a little bit before we can go. It's actually only 748, we're not doing that bad in terms of time. <laughs> Invested turn. <laughs> That's why I built these extra sunks. Because if those go right into your mineral line, it can be a bad day. Alright, there's there's a drone in here somewhere. He's going to build something infrastructurally. Here we go. Ooh, uh... Please don't go over to that base. I am not prepared to deal with a bunch of mutas. Uh oh. Yes. We're gonna pretend that that just is not an issue, and we saw if we don't see anything, we can't die to anything. That's how it works. We're gonna get Ultralisk armor. It makes the attack uh, a little bit easier. And then we gotta have you hotkeyed. You guys hotkeyed. Down here. I think usually you don't want to build the hatch this far to the side. I have no idea why you don't want to do it, but Ace never does it. But then I uh, I got scared of those mutas and I built it to the side. And I hope that that isn't something that's going to destroy me. The thing is, I've learned this run not through like reading documents or something, but just by watching Ace play. And as a result... Uh, Sometimes I don't know if he just does things out of habit to have all of his ducks in a row, or if he does something for a very specific and important reason. And that can make life a little bit harder. Okay, Ultra Nidus. So we want you guys in here, you guys in here, you guys in here. The high cluster is under attack. Big attacks. No infested Terran, though. Okay, the Nidus is out. This is six ultras, seven ultra, eight ultra. I, I can take eight ultra. Eight ultra with the upgrades is enough. Ace does it with eight ultras and six Dark Templar. So I don't feel bad doing eight ultras and eight Dark Templar with the Kindness upgrade. Actually, I do feel bad. Uh, we're going to make it ten. <laughs> make it an even ten. It's only a little bit longer for a lot of it safer. So the drop here is hard. I uh, said earlier that drops in StarCraft 1 are a nightmare to do. And this is... This is the mission where it's like... It can get really, really bad. So what we want to do is have these pre-spaced a bit. And I think I just messed up my hotkeys. 
I'm not sure. We'll see. You in here. You in here. And then we're going to save the game. You guys go up. You go up. Uh, Dark Swarm is hotkeyed to W for some reason, because we're doing Dark Warm. Load. Uh, we're going to save again. And then unload and hope. Why, why, no. You guys here, you guys up and over and target. Dark Templar, get on the point. Uh, Defiler, there we go. Get the DTs on. There we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. First try. Ooh. Okay. Tell me the story of your people. The overmind is dead as you wished. Now, I demand that you release the matriarch at once. Two more missions. Of course. Brashagal, do you wish to return to your tribe? So, uh I wish only to serve you and remain at your The two hour goal. It's looking pretty close. I'm not sure. Omega might take too long. Reckoning's probably going to take like, let's just say eight minutes. Then that'd be a 22 minute, but there's all this dialogue. Yeah, probably not going to make it. Oh well. We're still going to give it our best shot. Restore her to her okay. rightful self, so. and you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. All right, Zeratul. <sighs> I made your matriarch my slave long before I joined you on Shakuras. She made the mistake of underestimating my power. Get ready to go. Like everyone else did, and now she's paid the price. With her. Wait, you can save through this? I, I mean, the... I didn't know you could pause. See. During the thing, I thought that you couldn't pause during the dialogues. Wait, I don't understand how dialogue skips work in StarCraft. Why can you skip some of them when the dialogue is going, but others you can't? <laughs> Wait, okay, um, that changes things. I thought you had to hit all of them like the frame before. I misunderstood. Okay, we gotta get drops here. You guys over here, you guys over here. So yeah, usually there's, uh, is it just the true colors dialogues that you have to skip, um, like while the screen is moving towards the cutscene and everything else you can just hit pause, save and reload during? Have I just been wasting time because I just didn't know because I thought everything worked in the same way? But in reality, it's StarCraft 1 being StarCraft 1 with multiple ways that dialogues work. That is beautiful. Love it. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, gosh. Cannon rushes. Okay, so what we're doing... Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to split. I got so distracted by that. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna build two mutas, we're gonna build an overlord, we're gonna get our guardians going, and then we're gonna go hydras. Hydras is a safe way to do this mission. I've done Zergling successfully before, but it's just not as consistent, and I'm looking for consistent reliability today. I want some stability in my life. Okay, we need a uh, hunt Ultralisk. <laughs> Very bold, assuming I could get that. Let me just kind of eke our way over. Grab this. Okay, and uh, I guess I'll get another one of these. And we need to evolution complete so we can start grabbing all these guys in here. Get them all stocked up for the winter. You get in. You get in. 
Um, I know everyone can fit. Well, good enough. Unload alt. Guardian morphs. Go on over. Now we want to go ranged attack, and we want to go hydralisk speed. I feel like we're good on money right now. Like, we can just start our Hydra production soon. And I'm not going to pull with the Guardians until I have the Lurkers burrowed and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to be super greedy here. Okay, hatchery, hatchery. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're going to burrow the Lurkers here. And then we're going to save. Start poking, get all these guys. Because we want to use the ground units, ideally, to bait the enemies into fighting. Uh, and bring the Reavers, that's the important part. So it's kind of a dance over here that we gotta do. Our forces are under attack. Where are you, mister? Bring out your Reavers! Okay, we'll target that. Evolution complete. Us. Evolution complete was over here, so we can get Hydra Speed. Oh, leave him alone! Ah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saved him. Good. Ooh, careful. And then we want to use the Nidus over here. And Hydra Hydra, rally, rally, get you guys in here. Ah, the Reavers have still not come to play, which is annoying because they're really the main limiter here. Even though we're not going Zerglings, they can still cause catastrophic damage to Hydras, obviously. They're Reavers, after all. See if we can bait them. Look. Come Reave me, bro. Oh, they're, they're very shy today. He's over here. There they are. Why are they so, like, not attacking? How do you get them to come out? That's not good. Well, I mean, we might as well start the attack and see what we can do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Found the Reavers. That's rough. He's forward. Try to split against the Reavers and target them down. Target it, please. Oh my gosh, Reefers, dude. Oh man. What a unit. Put our Templar down. Where is he? There's Reaver number three, Ver. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll try to take this down. Split it. Target. And then this one. Oh, he went to a shield battery to get healed. We got him. We're going to be able to win this with Hydras, but wow. It is a unit. Well, we want to take down the Robo. Our forces are under attack. Okay. And they should be running out of stuff. Oh gosh, no, don't load! It's not what I'm here for. 
not doing drops. I just want to detect. Take down the cannons. Here we go. Where's the carrier? There's supposed to be a carrier. Well, we've dealt with all the defenders, basically. There he is. Way in the back. Don't have to build Scourge for him this time. Shigadoon. There's Hydra's. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm not good at baiting those care or those reavers out with the guardians. I uh, just don't have the micro down for it, and it changes this mission drastically. If you can, oh, hello. Uh, if you can successfully take down all three of those reavers before your attack begins, which is the it's the dream. It's not an easy dream, but it is the dream. Then uh, this is such an easy mission. It's so fast, but. Unfortunately, I could knock on them to come out of their little hidey holes, and as a result, misery. Fortunately, we have this base over here, so we're fine. Keep producing. Who needs gas anyway? We're transitioning to renewables in this Zerg swarm. I guess we make Zerglings because they'll clean up the buildings faster. We just gotta kill every building here. Come over here. So theoretically, this run isn't uh, supposed to do the secret mission, but I'm not going to get my sub two hours anyway, so we might as well do the secret mission, right? Like, that'd be fun. I mean, theoretically, I could if I got really lucky. Oh, we got to wait for that. So wait, it's just, I can just save and reload through all of these, except for the true colors ones, if I understand now. Damn you, Kerrigan, for what I must do. Thank you, oh, no. Okay. No, I can't hit anything here. Uh, apparently, it's just the Overmind one that you can... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know how it works. <laughs> yeah, I can't pause or anything. Oh, where? Okay, so I can... I, can I don't know how the dialogue skip works. You killed your own matriarch. Better that I kill her than let her live as your slave, Kerrigan. So I have to, like, pause I have misjudged you, before... I, I don't have frame-perfect dialogue pausing, dude. You are free to go. And I don't care to practice it. It's not the type of stuff I... I don't know what to do here. I've already taken your honor. I'll let you live because I know that from now on your every waking moment will be torture. You'll never be able to forgive yourself for what I've forced you to do. And I don't that care, sort Kerrigan. Of tool is a better revenge than I could have ever dreamed of. You will regret this decision, Kerrigan. We shall meet again. All right, let's go do the bonus mission. Oh, okay. This is going to be a nice and quick one, at least. We are going to... Understood. I'll look into this matter myself. Have this guy pop out. Grab the Dark Archons. Dark Archon, there we go. Oh, what is the mind control button? R? C. 
There we go. And then a science vessel is going to pop on up over here. Science vessel is going to pop on up over here. Science vessel is going to pop on up over here. Your orders will be done. Where's the science vessel? You address me. All right. Oh, I didn't attack with Zeratul. Okay. He just didn't hit one of the. He didn't hit one of the guys. He basically always does, so I didn't even think about it. Okay, we'll make sure to babysit Zeratul this time. Zeratul, please. There we go, he got it. Okay, you're the one that we want. Send the science vessel. He attacks someone. He's cloaked. There we go. Please. Dematrix, Dematrix. Come over here. Come on down, Zeratul. Where are you going? Why are you taking that path? That's such a bad one. Dropship, please. Dropship, please. Are you kidding? Where's the dropship? <laughs> Why is this happening? This one is so easy. Did I just take too long because Zeratul took forever to get over to that guy to attack him? I guess that's what happened. Like, the patrol route was messed up because it uh, took just way too long for Zeratul to figure out how to slice a guy. Zeratul, please just attack! <laughs> why, why do you gotta be this way? Just be normal! At least that guy mind controlled at the right time, too, this time, because the first time he just, like, stared at it for half an hour before it actually went off. So I'm feeling way better this time. Dropship. This isn't looking great. He's pretty low on HP. <laughs> but at least it showed up. This is a... Uh, this has been a Zeratul mission of all time. Not the most beautiful one. Are you serious? Wait, the bat... Okay. I copy that. I've uh in the five, 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 five. not seen the battle cruiser Back attack the dropship like that before. Buckle up. I copy that. Yeah, why is he just casually going over there? Sure. You so I've never seen uh, a creature like this before. I want to pause. Well, now we have about five minutes worth of dialogue we have to sit through. Hybrid in perfect cryo hibernation. I'm gonna see if I can get a pause off at some point. No. Magnificent, isn't it? Okay, well, if you ever are interested in what the plot of StarCraft 2 might be whenever it comes out, uh here you go. You would know me best as Samir Guran. Kerrigan's consort. Is this part of her? That was terrible. No. Everything went wrong. I like that the original version of the hybrid in this cell is basically just a Protoss that has a Hydralisk head. <laughs> He's got that long Hydra head going on. I mean, the Protoss already have long heads, so that might just be a Protoss. The hybridization isn't really working. He actually just has a uh, a shoulder blade. He has a <laughs> Zerg shoulder blade. 
what this this hybrid is capable of? Of course. Do we have any idea what this hybrid of cap is capable of? Uh, it's capable of dying to Solar Lance, Zeratul. That is what we eventually learn. And as a result, they're really not that scary. But he's doing his best. Oh, Tungar111, you wrote a piece of literature for Artosis and he skipped it? That's so rude. I, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's probably because he had to deal with copyright issues for Mario. You know, you don't want to display that kind of stuff on stream because you get demonetized. Nintendo will come after you. And I understand that it was probably an incredibly well-written fanfic, and I'd be very proud of you for the fact that you put the effort into writing it. But uh, you just don't want to... Yeah. It's uh, important. He doesn't want to get demonetized. Nintendo lawyers are going to, like, swat him. Because Nintendo lawyers don't use the law. They just break into your house with uh, fire flowers. <laughs> They'll burn your house down. Let's go do Omega. Alright. This is Omega. We gotta kill everybody. This is the goal. So there was a chance that if I didn't do the bonus mission, I could have gotten the sub two hours. However, I didn't think I was going to get it, and I didn't want to be disheartened, so I decided to do the bonus mission. <laughs> and you know what? I think that's okay. Because it means I'm doing even more 100%. I, why do I keep getting antenna? Oh, it's D hotkey. So if I don't have a larva and I hit SD, I get... I need to change that. Okay, guys, want to see a magic trick? That's a magic trick. All you got to do is go under terrarium and you become immune to landmines. I... <laughs> Welcome to StarCraft 1. It's a fully functional game that just works. And if you don't think so, you're, uh, you're a hater. <laughs> because, you know what, at least... The, this game is full of frustration, right? It just, it makes you so angry sometimes when you have to play it and deal with the garbage that it deals you. But then... Oh, well... <laughs> There's a spider mine there. Did you know that? I know that now. But at least sometimes you can, uh, you can fight back against the game. And you'll be able to do stuff like that with the mines. And it feels good. Because in a functional game, that would never happen. Alright. Getting this hatchery. We're getting lots and lots of drones. We're gonna have to build hydras. We're gonna have to get 3-3. Three, three. We're going to do what's called a pro gamer move, and we're actually going to get an upgrade called Hydra Range. It's going to be really good. You guys are going to be so jealous when I get it. And yeah, this is a targeted joke at one person specifically, and no one else is going to get it. Well, wait, maybe I explained it at the beginning of the run, actually. I don't remember. I think I said something about it. Uh-oh. And bring the Hydras. Uh, I... Yeah, okay. Zelts are a little bit too bulky. Gonna have to call for nerfs. Take these down. I guess I'm getting antennas. <laughs> Whoa! The Truth Speaker donating 100 tier 1 subs. My goodness! Um... Oh, thank you. That is incredibly generous. I'm gonna. This is. Wow. All right. I appreciate it, my dude. And that is me speaking the truth. Uh, I will continue to do an incredibly mediocre job in this run, dedicated to. <laughs> Thanking you, my sir. All my mediocrity is targeted that way. Oh no! Alright, these attacks come from a little bit random angles. Almost always, the UED attack comes from the north. You know, where we actually don't have any defenses there. Oh, this is annoying. Having it come from the same angle as Artanis is... Not super common, and yes, super annoying. Okay, 
pull this back. At least Manx was cleaned up there. I got Hydra's coming on the way. Hopefully the Sunk saves me. Okay, Sunk saves me. Gotta get these. Get our gas geyser. And then... He's got five kills, jeez. This is why you overdrone. So that when the enemy does this, you're okay. We're gonna rebuild all the sunks. Uh, theoretically, you probably shouldn't do that. But I don't want to get got by whatever, whatever weird angles they decide to come from next. And then I think we want to head up here and start grabbing this gas, these guys, these here, and we want another base. And we're going to have to go through the legendary Umbrella Alley to get there. Okay, Hydra Range. Welcome to Umbrella Alley where your dreams can come true. Your dreams can come true in other places too, but Umbrella Alley is one of the places that your dreams can come true. Particularly if your dream consists of missing enemy marines a lot because it gives that 50% miss chance for some reason. Even though the enemy should be, like, <laughs> the Hydra should just be able to see down Umbrella Alley, right? Like, they're not attacking with a you know, uh, ballistic projectile or something. But whatever. I guess they have cover from the sticks. But then buildings should give a mischance chance just by attacking past them. Which would make too much sense for StarCraft. Alright, we're gonna have to build some defenses over here, but for the most part... Grabbing some overlords, and we're gonna get overlord movement speed real early. Maybe we're not. I wonder what you guys are doing. Is that part of your mining process? What's go? Why? Why do these guys have to go up here to mine? Or down here? Starcraft, why? Is that part of their... It's just how they mine. <laughs> this game is so silly. There's, you just can't explain StarCraft 1 until you play StarCraft 1. <laughs> Why they do that? They don't know. I don't know. Nobody know. It's just what they do. Right, let's try getting the drones for this new base. Nobody's going to stop them. Oh, <laughs> you having fun, bud? <laughs> He's having a good time. <sighs> I am trying to be somewhat quick here, but like, I I am at the point of so much mental fatigue because StarCraft 1 is such a brain-powered eSport. Trying my best. And so we gotta get some sunks here, we gotta get that gas geyser, we gotta get 3-3, three, three. we gotta get a bunch of guys on money mining. And hopefully it just works out. Alright, Dark Templar, my favorite. You guys come up here. All of these. I think the DT is annihilating me. Where are these Hydras? Oh, they're the ones up there. Good thing we got those sunks. Uh, cannon's not really doing much. It's just attacking the gas geyser. That's fine. Come on over, buddy. I think the DT is dead somehow. Not even sure how it happened. And now we're just building lots and lots and lots of Hydras because we have to fight multiple factions, and when you're fighting multiple factions, Hydras are the name of the game. Of course, the Protoss has their DTs and Cloakers, so we do need that Observer speed sometime. Oh! Populate in the alley! There's some bad Marines in that alley. 
I hear they just do stim packs all day without a medic. That's actually the scary part about doing stim packs all day. It's fine as long as you have a medic. I have so much gas. Well, I mean, that's pneumatized carapace time and 3-3. Three, three. I don't have that much gas. Things are going great. I'm going to attack at like 140 supply against the Protoss. That's just my arbitrary mark that I'm deciding to go for. Just seems good. This is way too many overlords. I've got like three. They're not sending infinite DTs. Okay, these and these and these. I hope that they don't just like siege a tank right here. <laughs> this little turret right there. So one thing to remember on this mission is that we don't actually have to eliminate all the enemy buildings. We just have to destroy all the production. It's not that big a difference, but it does mean we can leave some stuff. As long as the enemies surrender, that's all that I care about. We don't have to salt the earth. Oh gosh, controlling armies this big is so hard. This is why Protoss is the best race, because their stuff costs more supply, so you don't have to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've moved half of my army. I get you here, you here, you here. Go, go, go. And I'm going to be supply block soon. That's exciting. Let's uh, find an overlord maker. Everybody over here. And there should be a reaver coming up soon that we have to be careful about, as well as a double carrier force, where one of the carriers is a hallucination. <laughs> It'll be very scary. Might just be a single carrier today. Oh, no, it's two real carriers. No, uh, alright. Well, you know, we're just gonna deal with the interceptors because I'm not sure who's real and who's fake anymore. And they'll just keep the hydro production going. My supply is going up during this attack, which is nice. Probably because everyone's stuck right here. Okay, you guys start diving in. Most of the Protoss are already dead. Protoss is just very easy to take out in StarCraft 1. The AI is just not good at playing the faction. More carrier. Hey, he got away. Nice micro. I'm like 90%. There we go. That was the hallucination. I knew there was one somewhere. Everybody attack down. That's going great. Now we're going to start rallying our stuff to the top. Because this is way too many guys. In fact, this is so many guys, I think the UED attack is not going to work out. Um, because I just don't have enough troops. So I'm going to have to send some of these over here. Otherwise, I'm going to get stomped by the UED simply because I don't have... The troop density to fight them because they're stuck all down here. All forces are under attack. Go, go, go. Go, oh, nope. And the Protoss is basically dead at this point. They have a couple units. They try their best. Uh, just got to make sure that they don't DT me, basically. All forces are under attack. Oh my goodness. The sunks were useless. Alright, we're gonna begin our invasion of the UED territories. Try not to lose my overlords to Valkyries and then die to raids. I know it sounds like a meme, but it happens. It's probably going to happen. There's a lot of Valkyries up here. 
That attack's going good. Uh, we got Hydras over here we can send up. More Hydras. You follow and follow. And it looks like our Tannis yeah, is completely out of this. That's fine. Got the Arbiter, but I don't care. Uh, not really the angle I actually want it to come from, but... Oh gosh, that tank is in a beautiful position. We gotta pull back and not run into those, because we're getting cleaned up real fast on that side. Oh, sending a drone to fight. Not worth the time to stop him. So these tanks need to unseize and come over this way so I can snipe them. If they're going to sit in that beautiful position, I'm going to be annihilated. Okay, looks like Manx is trying to drop over here. We should be able to deflect it pretty easily. Got a little bit of stuff on this side to deal with. Oh, gosh. Select target stop. You guys come up here. Where are those tanks? They're just getting battle crews this time. That's fine. So we can send these guys up. And 163 supply. As I said, supply is dropping pretty quick. Ooh, hello, Manx. How you doing, buddy? Try to take that tank down. Whoa! What is that tank? <laughs> How did he get there? <laughs> Starcraft 1, what a silly game. Alright, Artanis is dead. You guys attack up. You guys attack up. I guess that was from the drop. That's so fun. I love it when they put stuff in weird places. I wish Starcraft 2 did more of that. Obviously, it's really annoying when you're trying to, like get a world record or whatever, but I'm not. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not really where I want. I, I told you to go top right, and you went bottom left, but you do you, Hydralisks. Can't really care at this point. The game is an enigma. Okay, you guys go this way. UED shouldn't have too much left in their main base because they pulled a lot to deal with, uh, what I'm doing here. Like, you saw that dropship just run across and drop a ton of guys. Our are under attack. It's what they do. So their main is probably going to be empty, which means that I need to start setting my forces down to deal with Mengsk. Hopefully that tank is, like, gone at this point, because I don't really have a good way to deal with it. And we're going to set our rallies over here to make things... Oh, no, it's not gone. Uh, well, we gotta get drops anyway, so we're gonna drop on top of it. These are looking good, these are looking good, and this bust is fine. I have stuff everywhere. Welcome to Omega. Um, overlords. I know Ace doesn't grab all of his stuff because he feels confident not having to do it. I don't care about those guys. They're, they are lost and confused, but I need everything I can get, so I'm going to try to grab them and rescue them. I guess I don't need the Overlords really a lot there. You are such a menace to society. Stop it. on the BC. Here, here. Okay. Dougal's going down. And then... Come on. <laughs> Finish up drop upgrade. I They keep picking it up with a drop ship. And then trying to transport it to my main, running into the spore crawl, or the spore colony, realizing that they can't drop it, Pulling back and re-sieging it over and over and over again. It's so good. What a silly thing. What a unique experience from StarCraft. <laughs> uh. Alright, Dugal's gonna be given up in a moment. 
but Mengsk will never surrender as he has the ultimate tank position. Okay, we actually have drops now. I am prepared to offer terms of surrender. It is my wish that you allow. Right, you guys attack into Mengsk. You guys attack into Mengsk. You guys go, you guys go. Go, 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 go. Everybody go. I'm maxed and I don't feel like I have a lot of units. Oh, it's because those four were over there. This is the pain alley. Yeah, dealt with okay. Not gonna... Not gonna claim it was great, but it was something. Super supply block because I just lost a lot of OVs. S O S O. There should be some tanks rotating soon. Yeah, well, you can target that. Do your best. We're gonna get cleaned up here. Oh, they're using dropships to rotate their tanks. That's fancy. Smarter than me? You should have done that. Wait. <laughs> they sent some of the tank rotation through the middle. That's different. I mean, that actually makes things really nice. Oh, there's the big tank force. Yeah, we're going to go over here. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist. And we're just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. This is a good mission. Even if I'm not running it very well, like, it's just such a fun mission to play. It really feels Zerg the movie. Might be a direct-to-TV movie when I'm playing it, but still is good. Also, can we appreciate the siege tank for being the greatest unit? Because, man, that sure blew everything in the universe up. He should be running out of momentum. This is only going to be like two minutes slower than Ace's uh, most recent Omega. <laughs> and he's the world record holder after all, so I can't be too upset. Hydras, 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 Hydras. Uh, you guys need to go over there because I do need to do that drop thing. I think there's like one more factory just popping out siege tanks that I need to deal with and then then life is going to be... How many siege tanks are in this universe? There is not enough new steel plating in this world to build that many tanks, Mengsk. That's not how math works, dude. You can't do it. You're cheating. Our forces are under attack. Okay, they're still going. Uh, I believe there's some barracks over here I need to kill. Yes, yes. Ooh, you know what? There's some spider mines over there that need to kill. Me. And grab you guys. Go to the high ground. Start taking out this stuff. Our forces are under attack. You guys, you guys, go down here. Our forces are under attack. Oh my goodness, that tank is so annoying. Go, 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 please. Sometimes you just have to say please to get your StarCraft stuff to work. I don't think they're going to make it. Okay, all the defenders have been dealt with. Besides that, like, one tank that's somewhere. Right here. No, oh, wait! He killed all the stuff on the high ground. I have to kill those. Oh, my goodness. How did that get cleaned up? Where is this mystery factory that is building this tank? And that tank? I don't even see it. I'm sure it's somewhere, but... My goodness.
Well, we've dealt with this area. All that is left is this little bit of Manx. I think he's just using the spawn command in order to make free guys. Manx is a little cheater guy. Gonna lose this to a missile turret. Cool. It's a good way to sacrifice some Hydras. Unload. Right there. Get on top of the tanks. Target them down. That should be the end of the tank minute. How are you guys stuck? Whatever. Please offer your surrender. Uh, gotta deal with these, and we gotta go over there and deal with those barracks. Once that burns down, and once the barracks are gone, I think we got it. Uh, definitely could have been a lot cleaner. The Manx base is always, by far and away, the hardest part. And it is what it is. Okay, we got it. Sooner or later, you'll make a mistake. And when you do... All right, 215.18. I'll take it, including the bonus mission. Uh, definitely, things could have gone cleaner, but I had wanted to give every mission, like, five different practice attempts before going in, and in reality, I got about two on every mission. Uh, two run-throughs. And then I had to do the full thing. And for that really, really, really limited practice, it is what it is, and I'm not unhappy with it. That's going to be the end for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.